Et hey, bienvenue à tous hey hey Aujourd'hui, les 15 ans de notre église oh, 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 oh. Et hey, ça fait combien que t'es là, toi, Pierre Combien de temps que t'es dans notre église euh, Ça doit faire 13-14 ans, je pense. Hein. Il était littéralement ans. comme ça quand il est arrivé. Oh, oh là. Ouais, comme, ça. Genre, euh... comme ça. Ouais, comme ça. <rire> Yes. D'ailleurs, dites-nous dans, dites dans les yes. commentaires depuis combien de temps vous êtes là à l'église avec nous et toi, JD, ça fait combien de temps Moi, ça fait, ça fait une dizaine d'années, ça fait 10 ans. 10 2010, ans. je suis arrivé. 2010, waouh. Wow. Et ouais, 2010. Beaucoup, celui-là. Toi, c'est quand bien. Moi, c'est 2012, moi. Eh hey. En fait, t'es le petit dernier, quoi. Je suis le petit dernier. Ah, le regarde, moi, regarde, moi, regarde. Eh, hey. la petite barbe, barbe, la barbe. Parce que vous pouvez appeler ça. On s'amuse aujourd'hui, c'est la fête. C'est les 15 ans. C'est les 15 ans, les amis. Cool <rire> Non, franchement, en trêve de plaisanterie, on a vécu tellement de choses dans les... Pardon Dans les... Pardon 15 dernières, années, 15 dernières années. Franchement, des moments extraordinaires. D'ailleurs, euh, quel est ton plus grand souvenir Apparemment, on ouais. me dit... Ouais. Je viens de super, super, on revient. Voilà. On revient. Plaît, on on s'éloigne. Euh, je disais... Un camp d'été, ouais, camp d'été, mais quand on le faisait pas encore en France, on le faisait en Angleterre. Et euh, c'était un des pasteurs de jeunes qui avait fait, bah, bref, il y a un Tribal Wars. Et bref, il avait carrément guerre des tribus. Savons. Guerre des tribus en français. Oh, France, Merci pour la traduction. <rire> J'ai dit pour la traduction. Tout on aura les sous-titres yes. euh, à peu près ici, là. Ici, à ce voilà. niveau-là. <rire> voilà. et, euh, et ouais, et juste, bah voilà, c'était vraiment phénoménal. Je pense que ça a bien marqué euh, mon adolescence. Euh. Super, donc dans les 15 dernières années, toi, tu te souviens de quelqu'un qui buvait du savon. <rire> Super, <rire> Exactement. Et... Ça a transformé ma vie, ça a lavé ma vie. <rire> ça a lavé ta vie. Voilà. Super. Hey. Moi, mon plus... Franchement, moi, euh, j'aime beaucoup tous les encounters qu'on a fait, mais le premier yes. encounter qu'on a fait ici à Bobino, je pense, c'était énorme oh, yes. avec euh, Levi Marie Church et Nadia Marie Church. Et euh, je sais pas, je pense que on avait fait une... Euh, une espèce de course là avec des gars qui étaient dans un dans un bateau gonflable la qui se faisait tout on a des photos ça ou pas je sais pas si on a des photos ah, de ça ah, ah, voilà. Voilà, voilà. donc imaginez ici il y avait un bateau avec une personne dessus qui se voilà qui, qui, qui bougeait comme ça c'était vraiment vraiment super drôle est-ce que vous vous rappelez de la, des revival nights aussi Yes. Oh. Je crois que le principe de la soirée c'était de mettre le plus de, plus de monde possible dans ça, une exactement. petite surface à l'époque. Et des, des fois on en faisait trois, on en faisait trois d'affilée et il fallait remplir au maximum de, de, de personnes. Et autant voilà. te dire que le thermostat était euh... au max. Au max. Au max. Ouais. Voilà. Ouais. Hey. Ouais, fait, super. <rire> bah, dans cette salle-là on avait le droit je crois de faire rentrer 280 personnes. Mais bon, il y a eu de la multiplication. Il y a vraiment, il y a vraiment une multiplication. Comme les champs et les poissons. Euh, champs naturels, 500 multiplie. personnes dans cette ouais. salle-là. C'était juste extraordinaire. <rire> euh, C'est bah, toujours avant tout. Avant tout, C'est ouais, trop ouais, important. Comme les, les bateaux tout à l'heure. Mais hein. là, là, là t'avais compté cette soirée. Là, là cette soirée-là, ouais, j'avais ouais. compté. J'ai le petit rapport dans mon yes. notes. Not, not, not. euh, la fête de la musique, t'en avais pensé quoi T'avais aimé Ouais, ouais, bah. Franchement, franchement. Ah ouais, C'est vrai. C'est magnifique. Il <rire> n'y a rien, y a rien de plus beau que ça. Est-ce qu'on peut parler du stage design s'il vous plaît Simpliste mais efficace. Efficace. Drap noir, notre morceau de papier. Voilà. voilà. On n'a pas besoin de plus. Notre nom. Au niveau du système sombre aussi c'est pareil. Vous pouvez voir la base de... Et, ouais, et, et les, cubes, les, cubes, les cubes blancs. Les cubes blancs. Des cubes blancs aussi. Les cubes blancs pour stage design. Ils font de la lumière en temps normal. Mais là on voit pas vraiment. Hein. Voilà. Super. <rire> Voilà. Par contre, Petit euh, effet. Merci Pierre. Attends, merci. attends, je crois qu'il y avait de la fumée. Il y avait... ah, oui. on, a, on a des photos des gens de cette époque ou pas Oula. Oula. Ah ouais Oula. 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 Alors, On voit Max, Max, Max qui avait Super. des cheveux euh, lissés. Ah, oui, voilà. On vous fera un gros plan. Oui, ouais, je pense Fabien, il y a Fabien derrière là et Sabrina. Je ne connais pas cette personne. Mais... C'est Floristine ça Ah, c'est Floristine, bien sûr bien que je connais Floristine. Je connais pas cette Floristine et la chute Ah là Ok, voilà, super, okay, et avec ça. Et on a aussi fait des tournées. Enfin, je dis, bon, vous avez fait des tournées. C'est vrai, c'est vrai, vrai, on a fait, on a tourné, on a tourné. Vous avez fait quoi comme, euh, comme ville Comme Merci pays Merci, c'est bon 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 Merci. <rire> si vous aimez ça, juste commenter. Juste commenter. <rire> Allez-y, ah, parce que ah, on, on, on veut voir vos vidéo. commentaires ah, dans le chat ah, sur les, ah, ouais. ah, les pas de danse de pierre, c'est quelque chose. Non, on arrête. On arrête. Ah, 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 tourner, ah, tourner, on a fait plus de tournées en France, yes. en Suisse, en Belgique. On a fait quelques kilomètres. On a fait quelques kilomètres quand même. Et on a même pris l'avion pour aller en l'océan Indien. Yes. Dans l'océan Indien, on a été à Madagascar, on a été à l'île de la Réunion et à l'île Maurice. Yes. Yes. Euh, et franchement, c'était ouf. Ça, c'est Madagascar. Madagascar. Wow. On s'est retrouvé dehors. 
euh, en plein air, c'était un amphithéâtre, euh, genre un amphithéâtre romain, et c'était genre l'une des soirées les plus incroyables que j'ai vécues. La passion des malgaches, c'était ouais. genre c'était oui, D'ailleurs, dites-nous depuis où vous nous regardez, d'ailleurs, vous pouvez commenter votre nationalité, tout ça, c'est génial. Et, et je pense qu'en 15 ans, on a quand même vécu. Attends, des juste avant ça. Juste avant ça. Parce que je pense que Pierre a quelque chose à dire sur les tournées. Quoi Parce que on pense que les tournées, ah, c'est genre le glamour. Ah, on non. pense que les tournées, c'est les belles choses, les photos qu'on voit, ça. Pierre, dis-nous la vérité. Dis-nous la vérité. <rire> S'il te plaît. Éclaire les Mars, gens. Je pense que tout le monde a vu ma vie. Ok. <rire> Je pense que j'ai. C'était un peu mon rêve aujourd'hui d'avoir une MC cam. Mais voilà, j'ai juste la MC Il a juste le papier. Cool euh, Non, clairement, c'est pas du repos. C'est beaucoup de, des heures et des heures de travail. Des, des pas heures, beaucoup d'heures de sommeil. Pas beaucoup d'heures de sommeil. Faut compenser. Hein. Beaucoup d'heures de conduite parce que, bah voilà, faut faire beaucoup de ville et en très très peu de temps aussi. Et, euh, et ouais, des, ouais. Hôtels, euh, des hôtels, des euh, hôtels euh, <rire> moins une étoile. Alors, ouais, voilà, c'est ça. C est, c est souvent, vrai. ce qu'on essaye de faire, c'est. Ouais, on essaye, voilà, de. On est efficace, on dort peu, donc euh, on se dit on va pas prendre... Euh, ah, ça va quoi On a quand même fait plein aussi, dans, dans ces 15 années, on a, on a tourné dans énormément de salles euh, à Paris. Est-ce que vous vous rappelez du Globo Globo Ah, oh, le vous Globo Vous vous rappelez ce, ce sol qui glisse ah, oui. Les soirées PH là-bas, les escaliers. Le sol était... les escaliers. À chaque fois que tu rentrais, Littéralement, ça avais l'impression que tu marchais sur Mars. Il fallait décoller un pied pour pouvoir euh, faire un autre pas quoi. On devait venir deux heures avant pour pouvoir juste faire le ménage. Ah ouais. Monsieur ouais. Propre, il était notre meilleur ami à l'époque. <rire> Déjà, Monsieur Propre, si tu nous écoutes, ouais, petite sensée. Voilà. Tu peux écrire dans le chat. Allez, <rire> tu, peux, tu peux écrire. <rire> Commente. Raconte-nous ton témoignage. Ça fait comment c'est ton fait Saint-Denis-la-Chapelle Saint-Denis-la-Chapelle, non Alors, 15. Conf... <rire> là, c'est la différence. Ouais. On a eu. Euh... Attends, c'est quoi la. la... Ouais, C'était les Revival Nights. Voilà, ou là, thermostat 7, 8, 9. <rire> Et là, Saint-Denis-la-Chapelle. Thermostat. Tu te rappelles On se disait bonjour, il y avait la petite buée qui sortait comme ça. C'est vrai, c'est vrai. Quand tu là, c'était à l'extérieur. Le meilleur truc, c'était de faire un setup back down, parce que là, du ouais. coup, là, on, on était chaud. Là, on était chaud. Et il faisait plus froid à l'intérieur qu'à l'extérieur. J'ai jamais compris <rire> ce principe-là, mais c'était vraiment... Okay. Il faut, faut, faut qu'on passe à ce que tous les gens attendent. Yes. Exactement. Le mouvement des transformations divines. Les transformations divines. Parce qu'on sait, on sait que vous êtes là pour ça. Ouais. Expliquez le concept. On, on, franchement, vous n'avez pas besoin d'explication. Juste regardez les écrans regardez derrière moi. moi et essayez et de deviner avez... dans le chat qui oh, c'est. Oh, oh, là, ça va. Vous là, vous là, dans le chat qui vous pensez que c'est. Voilà. Mais là, c'est plus pour la coupe de feu. <rire> Est-ce qu'on a quelqu'un d'autre ah. Oh, voilà, Benet Marie. Et... Et... Jo ouais. Joli. Oh, oh, oh Mais t'as quel âge Mais c'est mignon Voilà, il se passe dans le, le côté barbe. Voilà. Et, et ah, juste derrière. Ah non, c'est Gérald. Non, c'est Gérald. Pardon, c'est Gérald. Oh Oh, non, 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 mais que vois-je là 15 ans, 15 ans, 15 ans de miracle hein. 15 ans de miracle là. 15 ans de miracle oh, 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 oh. Il se passait voilà, pas gaffe là Je sais pas s'il y a des gens de Massy euh, si qui sont là, commentés Il justement avec les fleurs dans les oreilles Même la nature Voilà, euh, il était assez éveillé Oh, oh, oh. Voilà. Notre, que dire, franchement Que dire Gaël Soukas Général manager Général manager de notre église Extraordinaire On a toujours su que c'était un gars solide Et voilà Hey, la physique, la cabane. Ah, voilà, franchement. Oh, 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 oh la brochette. Le petit duck face, euh, <rire> super. DJ Silver. DJ Silver DJ pour les Silver, intimes. C'était extraordinaire quand même. Quelle belle époque. Oh, ah oui oh, Ah oui ah, Ça va dans les dossiers je... voilà. En fait, il n'y a pas trop de différence. Hein. C'est vrai. Ouais. J'ai pris du badge. Je rasé la barbe, euh, vous avez un badge, s'il vous plaît Non, voilà. <rire> On n'a pas de budget des années. Oh, oh, yeah. Quelle belle famille. Et ils ont grandi. Ah, les ouais. Il y avait quand même Laurent. des cheveux là. Les ah, cheveux ouais, de Laurent, c'est ah, quelque chose pas Ah ouais. La famille parfaite. Oh, oh, oh Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé Alors Pierre, au moins, est-ce qu'on peut m'expliquer déjà c'est quoi ce regard euh, C'est quoi le but C'est quoi le projet là ah, bah, je... Où est-ce qu'on va avec ça Voilà. Bah, qu'est-ce qu'on essaye de communiquer On a coupé la photo, mais il y avait Tiffen à côté. Ah, ah mais ça, ça n'explique pas qu'est-ce que tu essayes de communiquer. Ah, je sais pas, petit regard. Est-ce que tu, euh... tu dansais la tectonique Regarde caméra, le regard caméra. Tu dansais la tectonique à l'époque. Ah, je sais pas. Ouais, non, moi je sais. C'est possible. C'est qui la, pro la prochaine personne Oh, oh, oh Dis-nous tout Jonathan de clé Voilà On va passer à autre chose Quel était le projet là Ah, c'est bien ça. C'est vrai que Brennan, il n'a pas changé en fait finalement. Non, non. Par contre. Côté, euh, côté Lyon, ça a un petit peu changé. Est-ce qu'on a d'autres fois oh, oh Magnifique oh là là. Nos pasteurs. Nos pasteurs. Et grâce à eux qu'on est ici. 
Franchement, ils ont pas bougé. Ouais. Ils ont pas bougé. Magnifique. Incroyable. Ah, c'était moi, c'était Et voilà. Mais en fait, ce n'est pas tout. Ce n'est pas tout. Ce n'est pas Parce tout. que maintenant, on va vous laisser regarder le behind the scenes de tous les services des 143 services en ligne qu'on a enregistrés depuis le début. Vous allez regarder. L'expérience, les amis, l'expérience. Ouais, super expérience behind the scenes. Maintenant. Bonjour à tous. Ah, je suis trop aigu. Bonjour, Église. <rire> Wow, quel message encore David knew he was the servant of God. Um, Saul uh, disait de ses serviteurs, um, en tout cas, oh, sorry babe, sorry, do you want to say that again? Wow, quel uh, en... Bonjour à tous et bienvenue à l'église. Ça va construire ta semaine, votre semaine. Votre ou ta. Tu veux prier pour ça, chérie Amen. Jésus. <rire> J'espère que vous avez aimé tous les behind the scenes, yes. mais par contre, on a encore une surprise. Je pense que tout le monde attend la cerise sur le gâteau. Regardez la vidéo juste derrière moi. Oh, ce moment. Non, non, non. non. Oh, 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 oh là là. Ouf. On a eu chaud. Attends, on peut revoir une deuxième fois, on peut revoir une deuxième fois. Ah oui, s'il vous plaît, le ralenti. Oh, le coup, oh, oh, yo, 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 yo. A Camille six. a failli tomber. Ah oui. Et la tête de Brandon. <rire> Tout en contrôle, tout en contrôle. Il était contrôle. sûr de lui, il était sûr de lui. Voilà, j'espère que vous avez aimé. Encore une fois, joyeux anniversaire dans notre église, 15 ans, ouais, c'est extraordinaire. Ans. Les gars, un petit euh, joyeux, an... Allez, joyeux anniversaire. Ah, tu veux chanter Joyeux anniversaire 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 Église et Paris, France, Francophonie et tout le monde ah ouais. Joyeux anniversaire Covid, Covid, c'est vrai Super, j'espère que vous êtes prêts pour un super service Passez un bon service Bonjour Église, bienvenue à notre célébration de 15 ans Que ce matin puisse chanter avec tout ce qu'on a C'est parti yes. Même dans la nuit Tes couleurs brillent Qui te fuir loin de ta grâce Je ne peux nier Ton bien pour moi Et ton amour incessant J'étais loin et plein d'hésitation de mes propres distractions Quand ton amour m'a rattrapé oh, oh, oh. Donc je lâche prise Et je te suis Montre-moi le sens de ma vie C'est ton oasis Qui me tarit Ta liberté seule me suffit Et comment une seule voix chantons le
je lâche prise et je te suis Montre-moi le sens de ma vie Cette sans qui ne t'arrive Ta liberté seule me suffit Chantons-le Oh là là, oh là là Quand je lâche prise, je te encore une fois Assurance, je lâche prise Donc je lâche prise Et je te suis Montre-moi le sens de ma vie Cette oasis Qui ne t'arrive Ta liberté seule me suffit En toi je vis Commencez à l'âge voir aujourd'hui Faites-le savoir dans les commentaires Notre Dieu est si fidèle Pendant ces 15 dernières années Il continuera à le faire quand je lâche prise et préglise Let's go Je trouve la vie En lui seul nous trouvons la vie église Notre Dieu est fidèle en chaque circonstance Et c'est ce que nous allons chanter ce matin D'une seule voix déclarant Je me souviens Je me souviens Dans quel état De grâce m'a trouvé J'étais si loin si loin de toi, mais tu t'es rapproché et je sais, et tu étais là dans les heures sans auprès de moi. Oui, tu l'as promis et tu ne mens pas. Oui, tu Tu es fidèle, le plus loyal des amis. Tu es si fidèle, et le croire me suffit. Tu es fidèle, Seigneur. J'entends, je place en toi Je place en toi Toute ma confiance Tu es si bon pour moi à jamais J'avancerai Plein d'assurance Car tu ne faillis pas et je sais, je sais que tu étais là Chaque circonstance, tu es toujours là Auprès de moi, tu l'as promis Tu ne mens pas, oui tu es là Je tu es fidèle
What a beautiful name, the name of Jesus. You know, I, I want to welcome you today. It is our 15 year anniversary service. And I just think it's amazing to start this service singing about the beautiful name of Jesus. And today we want to give Him praise. And no matter where you're watching from today, I believe God is speaking. He wants to speak into your life. Even in that worship there, lifting high the name of Jesus. And in this celebration service, I believe God wants to speak. He wants to inspire. He wants to take your life forward. And the name of Jesus, oh, His powerful name. Yeah. It's a victorious name and He wants to move today into your life. You know, I want to start, I want to read from a bit of Scripture. I want to read from Psalm. I love the Psalms. Psalm 145. And this is what it says. I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord 
and most worthy of praise. Amen. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation commends your works to another. They tell of your mighty acts. They speak of the of your glorious splendor and majesty. And I will meditate on your wonderful works. They tell of the power of the power of your awesome works and I will proclaim your great deeds. They celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. I love that we've sung today. We've lifted high the name of Jesus. We're gonna talk about His works, His wonders, His deeds. And I believe God, what He has done, what He is doing today and what He's going to do. I'm so excited about what God wants to do in your life today. And I'm so excited to celebrate God's goodness, to lift high His name today. I'm so excited about everything that is before us and what God wants to do into your life. So I wanna pray today. I wanna pray for you as we begin. So Father, we thank You today as we celebrate Your goodness, as we celebrate, Lord God, of the mighty works and wonders of everything You've done. We thank You, Lord God, that right from the very beginning, we wanna lift high the name of Jesus. We wanna lift You up. We thank You even now, Holy Spirit, You are moving into people's lives and situations. We thank You, Lord God, You're bringing healing and health and wholeness. We thank You bringing life into situations. We thank You bringing dreams and vision, Father. We thank You that nothing is impossible to You. And Lord, right now, we want to thank You, our mighty King. We want to praise You, Lord God. We want our lips, Lord God, day after day, we want to praise You. And today, Lord God, especially, we want to give You praise and we want to thank You for everything You've done, doing and going to do in the mighty Name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen, Amen, Amen. amen. Well, as I said, it's so great to have you connected. If it's your first time, so good to have you here. If you've been watching over the last 15 years or part of the journey, it is so great. I pray today would speak to you and I pray to bring great memories and I'd fill you with faith for the future. So, uh, so good to welcome you today. And, uh, you know, right now, we're going to hear some great greetings from some people, some friends around the world. Some of them being very close on this journey. You'll know some of them. And uh, I really pray it will inspire you. So come on, why don't we watch these and uh, be encouraged. Bonjour, bonsoir, Dr. Robbie here. Hey, Pastor Brendan and Camille and my Hillsong France family. Salut, Song France. Hey, Pastor Brendan and Camille. Bonjour, Hillsong Paris. Hello, you wonderful people in Hillsong, France. Bonjour, Hillsong family. J'espère que vous allez bien. Je fais cette petite vidéo simplement pour déclarer quelque chose. Bon anniversaire, Hillsong, France! Happy 15 year celebrations, Hillsong, France. Happy 15 year anniversary. Bon anniversaire! Joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire, Hillsong France. Un joyeux anniversaire à l'église Hillsong Paris. Brendan and Cami, Hillsong France, happy birthday. You know, just over 15 years ago, Pastor Brendan and I, we were walking at the Eiffel Tower, praying for the city of Paris and for the people of France. And to see now what God has done 15 years later with you and through you is truly unbelievable. 15 ans déjà. 15 ans de fidélité à l'évangile de Jésus Christ. Well done to all the team that have been a part of this amazing journey. You guys have done an incredible thing in the nation of France, in the city of Paris. Merci pour toutes ces personnes qui, grâce à vous, ont entendu l'évangile, se sont tournés vers Dieu et passeront leur éternité avec Dieu. I'm so proud of you guys and what you've done. Um, Brendan Cammy and the entire church and the leadership team. It's absolutely phenomenal. Je rappelle d'une parole de Pasteur Brendan qui disait Raymond va changer la France. Et avec vous, Dieu est en train de la changer. Alors, merci. Thanks for your commitment and we really believe that the best 15 years are still ahead of you. Félicitations pour 15 ans d'inspiration et d'exemple en France. Ma joie, eh bien, c'est de se voir que pendant ces 15 années, des hommes et des femmes ont rencontré Christ. C'est magnifique. Merci parce que vous avez été pionnier, pionnier aussi dans ce pays. Vous êtes venu avec quelque chose de frais, de pétillant. Et je souhaite des années glorieuses, le meilleur est en avant et je, j'appelle le ciel ouvert sur vous et encore plus au-delà de tout ce que vous avez vu jusqu'à aujourd'hui. I want to declare this. September is our season of significance and I feel to speak it over you for the next season. A season of significance in Jesus name. On est fiers de vous continuer à avoir de l'impact en francophonie. Joyeux 
Thanks for all those kind words. And uh, so incredible that you've been part of this journey. And we're so thankful for every single one of you. And thank you for taking the time to, uh, to encourage us and to say such great things. So we love you. And we can't wait to have you back in one of our campuses. And uh, hopefully that'll be soon. <laughs> and uh, anyway, thanks so much. Well, it's been 15 years. And uh, what we wanted to do is we wanted to take 15 minutes and uh, I've just grabbed a few guys and uh, that have been part of the journey, a few people part of the journey over these last 15 years. And hopefully this will really help you and maybe it is your first time. And I uh, just really pray this will speak to you and encourage you and uh, maybe even think about you. Maybe it's the first day or or you've been on this journey for a long time and maybe it'll bring me memories. You might even want to put it on the chat and it'll really, uh, really encourage you. So... 15 years, jihad. <laughs> and uh, you've been on this journey for even before 15 years at the Connect Group. And uh, love to hear from you guys what your first experience was. Ouais. Moi, je me souviendrai euh, toujours, c'était le 8 août 2004. Je suis arrivé dans un petit Connect Group et euh, j'ai rencontré, rencontré Yako qui, euh, qui tout de suite a, a eu un super contact. On a eu un super contact ensemble et euh, il m'a demandé mon numéro, je lui ai donné. Et je m'attendais vraiment à ce qu'il m'appelle. Et, euh, et deux jours plus tard, euh, il me rappelle. Et je trouvais ça extraordinaire parce qu'à ce moment-là, moment mon, mon voyage dans notre église a, a commencé en fait. Donc euh, ce premier moment a été extraordinaire pour moi. Oh, C'est génial. Pour moi, c'était la première fois que j'ai vu l'église, c'était en Australie. On était à l'école biblique là-bas. Et donc euh, lors d'un service, on voyait l'ouverture de Hillsong Paris. Et euh, on voyait Pasteur Brian comme elle a porté la parole et les queues devant l'espace Saint-Martin. Et à ce moment-là, moi je savais, c'est comme si Dieu a parlé à moi, dire « fonce pour la France ». Et donc on est venu pour construire avec vous, Pasteur Brian et Camille. C'était génial. Moi, c'est un peu semblable. Euh, moi, j'étais au Canada encore et euh, je regardais Ilsong TV. C'était Pasteur Brian qui partageait sur l'ouverture d'Ilsong Paris. C'est à ce moment-là que j'avais décidé dans mon cœur que, que j'allais déménager à Paris. Et parlant de déménager à Paris, quand je suis arrivé à Paris, ben, moi, je connaissais que Ben et Marine et Gérald et Danny. Et euh, ben, j'avais rencontré Brennan aussi en, en Australie. Mais justement, Danny était censé me récupérer à l'aéroport et il m'a oublié. <rire> en fait, il s'est trompé de jour et il travaillait ce jour-là. Donc, il m'a envoyé les instructions comment prendre le RER. <rire> Donc j'ai mon premier voyage à Paris avec mes deux valises, j'arrivais d'Australie, c'était pas mal. <laughs> ah, Gerard. <laughs> well, yeah, Ben, you're beautiful family and, uh, you know, you come in here, that was such a great, remember that and um, definitely remember Gerard, I remember the first time in the Connect Group meeting you, you were in a suit, <laughs> ouais, looked good, gris. in a costume. <laughs> C'est clair qu'il y a eu plein de moments assez drôles au travers des années, non Pff, Ah ouais. Moi, je me souviens de ce moment, euh, cœur et âme, je ne sais pas si vous vous en souvenez, mais moi, il me marquera à vie, ce moment où Pasteur Brendan euh, veut faire un love jump et euh, roulement de tambour. Brrr, et, et il essaye d'attraper Pasteur Camille et euh, j'ai bien dit essayer. C'était extraordinaire ce moment. She jumped more than I thought. <laughs> I definitely remember that, but we did keep it. She was vertical and uh, horizontal, sorry. Oui, au moins. Oui. Mais, you know, that was, in, that was incredible. Traumatisé. Traumatisé. <laughs> Moi, je me souviens d'un tournoi de foot. Parce que Brendan, je ne sais pas si toi tu te souviens encore, mais oh là là, parce que Brendan à l'attaque, à fond la caisse, il y a le gardien qui sort, il, il, il se heurte, et, et puis donc voilà mon pasteur au sol. Euh, voilà donc le soir, il est reparti, et le matin, dimanche matin à 7h, j'ai un coup de téléphone. Oh Ben, j'arrive pas à bouger, est-ce que tu peux presser aujourd'hui <rire> <rire> C'était fun ça. Remember Whatever it takes. Voilà, c'est ça. Waking up and I thought, oh, Ben, I'm so oh, Kenyan. And thank God for people like yourself. And he said, yeah, I know you're pa Yeah, and you poured an awesome word. So thankful for that. I, I think, Jared, coming back, I remember your brother, uh -huh. Danny, right from the very beginning. I remember there was one Sunday morning. We were in the, in the 13th in a, in a venue there and he was leading worship. Yeah. And uh, I never forget the pre-service had played and, and it's, it's about time. And he went to welcome people, play the game. I don't know what he did, but he went like this. And all of a sudden, I don't know why, but he's got his belt, his cincher <laughs> in his hand. I've looked at him and I went, oh what God. are you doing? You're leading worship. <laughs> I, I never forget just a moment like that. I don't Just some really just funny moments along yeah. the way where, you know, just seeing people, um, yeah, it's just awesome, that Denny moment, I just remember that. But Ou même la première fois que prêchait en français. 
Yes, I remember preaching on French. <laughs> C'était épique. It's awesome. Épique. I remember that preparing my... And uh, and also, I, well, I don't know, I was surprised. People got saved. Hallelujah. I think I need to do that more. And, uh, yeah. Mais il faut quand même que je précise. Il faut que je précise. Parce que la première fois, donc effectivement, il fallait que tu que avais décidé de prêcher en français. Euh, ton message, qui était d'abord écrit en anglais, tu l'as passé au travers de Google trans, euh, Traduction. I can't believe you're telling people this. <laughs> <rire> et il y avait tout à refaire quoi et c'était littéralement je sais pas c'était ouais peu de temps mais je me rappelle t'avoir aidé avec ce yeah, premier message I don't think we slept at all that night I think we fixed everything and people got saved ouais. Amen yeah it's incredible to think over those years just the different places where um, we've done church different people's lives and you know a lot of fun moments you know of uh, just hanging out and doing life and seeing people's lives change but I think obviously there's significant moments And, uh, you know, maybe maybe there's some significant moments uh, that have really spoken to your life. Maybe Jonathan, I, rem I do remember that time I spoke to you in Australia right. and you're hard to come here. But, you know, you, you've played such a significant role, creative in, and in mm. many ways. Ouais, I ouais. know you'd have some great ones. Oui, carrément. Bah, je pense spécifiquement pour l'équipe créative. C'est clair qu'avec euh, l'équipe de Louange, beaucoup de bons souvenirs. Je pense peut-être notamment aux tournées ou aux albums qui, qui ont vraiment permis à notre église d'avoir un impact au-delà de, de nos murs. Et je pense qu'un moment significatif pour beaucoup de l'équipe, ça a été euh, peut-être cette date qu'on a fait à Madagascar. Euh, je pense que c'était euh, juste vraiment spécial. Baben était là aussi. Et, et ouais, juste la passion qu'il y avait là-bas, le, le sentiment de « ouais, on fait vraiment partie de quelque chose qui est beaucoup plus grand que nous euh, ». Même le lendemain, on avait visité différents orphelinats avec l'équipe, juste de, de comprendre en fait, je sais pas, le privilège qu'on a de, bah, de faire partie de notre église, de vivre euh, ce qu'on vit. Euh, on a vécu beaucoup de moments comme ça à travers les années, ouais. Moi, je me souviens d'un euh, dimanche où il y avait Pasteur Brian qui était là et quelqu'un avait eu la mauvaise idée, la fausse bonne idée de tirer l'alarme incendie. Et soudainement, on n'avait plus d'électricité, c'était tout noir. Et moi, je me souviens la réaction de l'église. Ils ont commencé à chanter dans le noir. Et il y a quelque chose avec la louange, c'est comme un mandat qu'on a sur notre église et c'est tellement puissant. Ah, je me souviens, c'était incroyable. Et... Il est revenu la yeah, semaine après. I was going to say that. Ouais, c'est ça. I just say thank you for our pastors Brian and Bobby how they ça. got you know from the beginning a heart for the French speaking world and Absolument. to put church here and and I love that. I remember when that happened straight away and uh, hearing that singing that you just said and you know he as soon as that happened and um, you know I remember he started praying for people. C'est ça. Believing for people. Ça. And uh, you know hearing testimonies back from people from that Sunday. Absolument. Absolument. And um, And, you know, I remember he came after he, that had happened, he came back sides, like at the side of the stage there and he says, hey, I can come back next week. He was in holidays in the air and he cut his holidays and he came back the next week. And, you know, I met that was a significant moment, you know, I reckon that was... Moi, j'en ai, ai quelques-uns, je pense qu'on en a plein, mais Place de la République avec Youth, quand on a fait la fête de la musique, ça, c'était oh, extraordinaire. Wow. Yes. Et euh, notamment pour notre pays en France. Et, et en parlant de la France, je me souviens d'une conversation que j'ai eue avec toi, euh, Brandon, c'est... Euh, c'est euh, on, on parlait de la France et tu, dis, tu me disais à moi Gérald français Gérald on verra jamais la France sauvée si on n'aime pas les Français et, et venant de toi ça a été un Australien qui me dit moi en tant que Français il faut aimer les Français pour que la France soit sauvée moi ça, ça, ça a parlé à mon cœur et t'as ces paroles qui sont toujours prophétiques tu vois ça ça a été significatif pour moi et je pense pour la manière de vivre aussi euh, les choses que l'on fait à l'Église ouais donc merci pour ça <rire> yeah so many moments here I know I know, you know, we've seen moments with Encounter, youth right. conferences, I think for Easter. You know, I remember doing it, we did church in the Seagal, and mm -hmm. I remember one Easter, and, you know, I remember talking to Cammy and looking and, you know, just seeing the crowd line there, people early waiting to get in, right. line down, Pigal, <laughs> you know, and I thought that was, you know, you've got the windmill there and you've got <laughs> people lined up for church and... Um, You know, I think that was significant, you know, and seeing, obviously, you mentioned uh, Fête de Musique, and I remember seeing that crowd, and people came to church exact. from that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that that's where you look at that, but when you see an individual come through on a Sunday, right. and, you know, maybe if someone even, even listening, you came on that Sunday after that, potentially, and... You know, I think that really speaks to me, that significance. And, you know, I've always loved it. You know, I remember that first moment 15 years ago, well, even more than that, when we actually saw that first hand go up. When we did an altar call, we asked people to respond, to come to know Jesus, and they lifted their hand. And I'll never forget that moment. You know, I remember I was like, 
And you know, so many people over these years, so many individuals, I remember even, you know, a couple of months ago having a, well, a couple of months ago now, having a coffee with someone and, and that was, they, they, they all want to grab a coffee with, they grabbed the coffee and they said, look, I, I, I don't know, I put my hand up in that, that moment to respond, my hand went warm, I had to respond and people being healed and, you know, um, people's marriages, people being married and people starting businesses. And, you know, I think seeing people as well in the life of the church, like you say, you know, people that were, came to church, they're in fuel, you know, 13 years old and, you know, and now they're leading worship or people that have, people that decided to learn an instrument to give God glory and say, I want to fill the gap. I want to make a difference. And, you know, I think that's pretty... Ouais non, j'adore tellement tellement de choses et puis même je repensais euh, ce qui est merveilleux avec l'église c'est que il y aura énormément de, de moments significatifs et importants parce que bah, avec Christ en nous, genre ça s'est fait partie de <rire> de ce qui vient avec ouais. l'opportunité de de le suivre et euh, mais je sais que pour moi je, on, on dit à chaque fois qu'on a des présentations d'enfants mais pour moi ça fait ça me fait toujours quelque chose et euh, et souvent effectivement tu tu suis aussi certaines familles qui ont ouais pour eux ça a, ça a été ça a été difficile et, et là tu bah, tu, tu présentes, ils présentent leur enfant au Seigneur et c'est, ça fait partie de ces dimanches où ouais, c'est, c'est vraiment fort. Mm. Yeah, when you believe in for a family, for a child, you know the difficulty, you know the ouais. situation, you know you believe in for a miracle where they mm. couldn't have children and, and we prayed as a church in the prayer and praise reports or we prayed individually and we believe for them and then you're pre- presenting their children and You know, you've seen the miracles of people that came and they walk out and they've been healed or or they're believing for healings too and you're standing with them through yeah. that. And there's maybe you're still and we're standing with you and standing with you. And, you know, I love that tenacity and that, that community. And I think they're the significant things that yeah. we really think are pretty, pretty amazing. So personally, talked about some significant moments. Maybe we've happened events, yeah. but maybe in people's lives and maybe in your lives. C'est clear. Moi, je me souviendrai de ce message euh, sur Philippiens 1, verset 3, qui dit euh, « Je suis certain euh, que ce que Dieu a commencé en vous, il le terminera. » Et toi, tu l'avais décliné en trois, en trois façons. C'était « Je suis certain, persuadé et, et euh, certain, persuadé. Et, » et, et ça, ça avait marqué ma vie parce que ça a déterminé le fait que je me marie avec ma femme, Monica, aujourd'hui. Et, et ça, ça a été un moment extraordinaire parce qu'on a été touchés et, et c'était une confirmation qu'on attendait. Donc... Euh, Merci pour ce message. <laughs> Continue de prêcher comme ça, Brendan. Voilà. <laughs> I remember that moment. I was in Tite Le Temple. I remember that temple. near ouais. Republic, and I remember preaching. That was so hot in that le place. Le thème le plus chaud au monde. <laughs> and uh, I remember you coming up. Actually, I remember. Yeah, wow. Ouais. Ouais, pour moi, c'est. Mais je pense que ma vie elle a changé énormément à travers juste le fait d'avoir eu l'opportunité. Je pense au fait que j'étais un petit jeune de 17 ans qui est déménagé en Australie, on s'est rencontré là-bas. Un rêve dans mon cœur de, bah, de pouvoir participer à ce que Dieu était en train de faire. Et, et pour moi, c'est ce sens de, ouais, d'avoir eu l'opportunité de faire partie de quelque chose de plus grand que moi. Je regarde où j'en suis aujourd'hui et je ne peux pas m'empêcher de, de juste être reconnaissant pour ce que Dieu a fait dans ma vie. Puis, genre, on parle de, de messages significatifs, mais tu, sais, tu prêches souvent sur Nombre 13, c'est les deux espions et, et, et cet esprit de « on peut le faire » faire, tout est possible et je pense que ça, ça a beaucoup changé ma, ma perspective de l'église, ça m'a aidé à voir plus grand, ça m'a aidé à, à, à prendre une perspective euh, ouais, beaucoup plus grande que, que ce que j'avais avant de ce qu'est l'église et de, de l'impact que Dieu nous appelle à avoir. Et, euh, ouais. et non, moi je veux rebondir là-dessus parce que pour moi c'est exactement ça aussi. Avant j'étais Suisse, et là j'habitais maintenant en France, avant c'était Paris, maintenant c'était Lyon, mais je me souviens de ce voyage qu'on a fait ensemble, Pastor Brandon, comme des espions, voilà c'est ça tu vois. <rire> <rire> Dans le sens, tu vois, il y avait une, une première euh, une soirée d'intéressement à Lyon et c'était dans un pub c'était dans un bar c'était le mauvais endroit laisse-moi te dire mais il y avait 15 personnes qui étaient là et moi je me souviens toujours par ce Brandon qui me dit bah, je suppose que c'est une église il faut faire des services qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire et c'est plus ça aussi c'est, c'est cette semence qui est plantée et, et après la multiplication derrière et ça de le vivre moi personnellement pour moi pour ma famille mais également pour l'église et d'en tirer d'autres avec nous et de voir c'est, 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 cette, euh, cette croissance, ça c'est quelque chose qui est juste incroyable. Merci beaucoup pour ça, Pastor Brandon et Camille. Yeah, I remember that Lyon <laughs> moment. I remember even Marseille, you know, I remember <laughs> coming Mais down oui. the first few days with you in Marseille and as we started and the sense of God is in this place. And, you know, I love it that through the journey, you know, like I said, that first night and in that first connect group, we believed. 
And, you know, we trusted God, you know, ask of me and I'll give you the nations, you know, and, and we trusted, we prayed, we believed God and sensing His presence along the way. And mm-hmm. I remember that day in Lyon going down with your band and, you know, I remember even in the other, you know, it with Geneva and Marseille and Luxembourg, beginnings there. And, you know, in, in Paris here as we've gone forward just to trust God and seeing, you know, seeing your family, seeing when Jean was born and... And, uh, you know, Raphael and Eliana and seeing you guys step into there and seeing how church is growing. Like, that's just amazing and so excited about everything that God wants to do. En fait, c'est tellement bon de, de parler de tout ce que ouais, Dieu a fait sur ces 15 dernières années. Mais je pense que ce serait bien d'entendre de votre part. Qu'est-ce que, qu'est-ce que vous voyez pour la suite? T'sais, qu'est-ce que Dieu vous met à cœur pour uh, cette prochaine saison pour notre Église? Ouais, je sais que ce sera des bonnes, bonnes choses. Et euh, ouais, je me réjouis vraiment pour la suite. Et je suis euh, ouais, remplie de foi, remplie d'attente. Et euh, je repense, ouais, je pense vraiment que ce qui va être... Euh ce qui va nous permettre de continuer à de, de construire justement, euh, d'aller, d'aller plus loin dans tout ce que le Seigneur a déjà préparé à l'avance pour chacun d'entre nous, c'est, euh, c'est de, bah, de, de, rester, ouais, de rester fidèle et, euh, et de croire quoi, de croire en ce Dieu de l'impossible. On a parlé de ça, on a parlé depuis le début, ce qui nous, ce qui nous a amené jusque là, c'est, c'est Dieu, Dieu tu vas le faire, parce que tu veux le faire et tu peux le faire. Et euh, je pense qu'alors qu'on réalise euh, l'importance de, de rester enraciné, de rester planté, et de penser que euh, on va pouvoir aller, euh, disons, dans les prochaines 15 années, parce qu'on aura aussi euh, eu cette révélation des générations, l'importance que qu'on aille euh, de force en force. Euh, et puis, euh, et puis donc ça, c'est vraiment important. J'ai vraiment envie de croire que on va, on va, on va, on va, ouais, on va voir vraiment l'Église avancer avec avec ces générations qui qui vont de l'avant et euh, remplies de mission pour euh, pour tout ce qui est devant nous. Ça sera superbe, ouais. It's beautiful, the future, you know. I love in the times that we live and every every single one of us, you know. And I, I, I love I love the church and God said He'd build His church. He'd build people's lives. And, you know, there's a lot of things we can talk about and the events and places we want to go, you know. And I, I pray we do. We keep on enlarging and keep on going forward. And, you know, but in we, as we do that, it's about individuals seeing people saved, people's lives switched on to God, people's lives reaching their potential and impacting every sphere of life. And, you know, people watching today, you know, I pray, I pray that you'd be inspired to, and you'd, you'd hear and you'd, the call of God, the, the potential of God over your life to, to know His ways. And, you know, when there are obstacles and walls that, you know, there'd be the voice of, of a faith community, of His church that would encourage you. And I pray that, you know, seeing people that, that are raising up, you know, there'd be more people saved and, but people would walk and make an impact in their sphere of life. You know, I think that's the thing that has always motivated me. And I've always loved to see is that people would say yes to God and they'd say yes to make an impact and, you know, starting a business or, you know, being a a better husband, a a better, you know, better family or believing God for that and making a difference. You know, I think, you know, as we move forward, you know, as we, as we, do we keep advancing that we would would be his people would make a difference and would let God build us and would make a difference in this world so I just look forward to reaching and impacting making a difference in every sphere of life so looking forward to that well it's been a great conversation thank God for every single one of you thank God for every single one of you on the journey maybe it's your first time watching or you've been part of this journey hopefully it's brought some memories maybe it's a lot of memories maybe as I said you want to put them on the chat or send them through And I would love to hear that. You know, it's great to celebrate, to remember the times and, um, you know, and let's remember that inspire us as we head forward and make a difference in the world that we live. So right now, you know, it's such an honour today, you know, as we celebrate today, is to actually hear from our global senior pastor, Pastor Brian Houston. And we're so thankful for Brian and Bobby, so thankful for our pastors. And um, I know everyone would say a great amen to that. And I was so thankful for the voice over the years. We love it when he's always, when they've come to Paris. Can't wait till the next physically in Paris. But I know he's excited to speak today. I know he loves every single one of us. He loves our campuses. He can't wait to visit them one day if he, has the, if he gets that chance. I know he talks about wanting to go to Lyon one day. And, um, you know, but I know it's such an honor to have him, you know, and I want us to give him a great welcome. And come on, let's welcome Pastor Brian as he comes and brings the word today. 
Wow, wow, wow. Happy 15th birthday to Hillsong Church in France and Geneva. But what an incredible 15 years. It's hard for me to believe that 15 years ago, along with Pastor Gary Clark from London, I was in France, in Paris, for the very first public service we had. I'll never forget it. We turned up in a taxi in a little cab. And when we got there, there were people lined up around the block. And I was like, what are all these people lining up for? And people had come from all over Europe, actually, to be part of that historic first day. 15 years. It's a miracle story. Bobby and I are so grateful for Pastor Brendan and Cammy, and of course, their beautiful little girls and the incredible leadership they've brought in France and all of the rest of the team, the campus pastors everywhere. But what I'm most excited about is the best is still yet to come. I'm so proud of the heart and soul of our church. It's something that we don't take lightly. It's something that we don't just not take any notice of. We're passionate about having a church that represents the heart and soul of Jesus Christ Himself. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, it talks about the complete you in verse 23 and verse 24. It says, Now may the God of peace Himself sanctify you completely. It's talking about you completely, all of you, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So that is the complete you, and that is the complete me. We are spirit, soul, and body. And so quickly, just as way of starting, your body is your five senses, your taste, your touch, your smell, your sight, your hearing. And so, yes, that's our body, but then our soul is our thoughts, it's our emotions, and it's our will. It's kind of who we are on the inside. Or if you like your mentality, or your feelings, and your choices. And then there's your spirit. Well, your spirit is the real you. It's your deepest part. That's the part that communes with God. It's the eternal part of you. God speaks to your spirit. The Holy Spirit resides in your spirit. It's in our spirit we sense conviction of sin. It's when we're saved. God saves our soul. But I love the thought that what God does is our spirit comes alive. And at first you may still look the same after you've given your life to Jesus. Over these 15 years, many have made a decision for Christ. And perhaps initially you still look the same, you still feel the same, but you're saved by faith. And then no longer conforming, but we start living our life being transformed by changing the way we think. So spirit, soul, body, and then the Bible talks a lot about our heart. And your heart is the intersection between your spirit and your soul. So it's the entirety of who we are on the inside. Well, can I tell you, Hillsong Church has a heart and it has a soul. And I think probably in France as well, we have what we call heart and soul night. It's when we talk into the DNA, into the heart and the soul of our church. I wanted to take this moment, this birthday celebration, to talk to you just about our church, its heart and its soul, and the part that you can play in that. You see, I believe the church, our church, is, well, it's not just an organisation. It's not just a structure or a denomination or buildings or departments. No, it's an organism. It's alive. And as I said, I believe our church has a body, a soul and a spirit. And we all contribute to what that looks like. First, in Hillsong, France, you're a body. You're the body of Christ, along with God's great body all over the globe. And so if I think about the same thing and I think about us as a body because that's what people first see, they come across you, they come across me. And so the first thing you see when you see someone is not their soul, not their spirit, you first see them physically, you see their body, it's tangible. So I wonder when people come in touch with Hillsong, France, in Paris, in Lyon, in Marseille, and of course, over in Geneva as well. I wonder when people come in touch with us, what their experience is. I wonder what they see. Remember, our body is our five senses. What do they see? What do they hear? 
What kind of taste are we leaving in people's mouths? I mean, are we sweet perfume or bad odour? <laughs> I pray there will always be people who recognise that as the body of Christ, you personally can make a difference in terms of seeing the church of Jesus Christ as an answer in your part of the world. I pray that we will be a church that when people come in, in touch with us, when people encounter us, when they see us, when they hear us, that they'll realise that Jesus is alive and that He's alive in France <laughs> in 2020, even in a pandemic. Yes, let's believe that. And then the soul of our church. You see, there's no doubt our church has a soul and it's rep represented by our attitudes and our, and our conversation and our mindset, our disposition, our commitment. I mean, if you're just always, oh, I don't feel like it. I, I don't know whether I want to go today. The 3 John verse 2, it's where John, the apostle, speaking to his friend, and he says, Beloved, I wish above all else that you may prosper and be in good health in exactly the same way as your soul prospers. In other words, if our soul's not prosperous and in good health, then we will never be prosperous and in good health. Let's be people who are committed to the soul of our church, the way we speak, the way we think, the way we live, our mindsets, even our disposition, the way we are when we connect with other people, we're warm, we're embracing. Let's be people who take responsibility for that because the next 15 years are gonna be the best 15 years. What God's done so far is only the beginning of what He is about to do. Thank God for that in Jesus' Name. So yes, as a church, we're the body of Christ, we're a body and we have a soul. And our church, all of us collectively, we have a spirit. And uh, I pray that we'll be spiritual in all the right ways, not sort of false spirituality. No, no, not the kind of spirituality that sometimes you'll find in big empty cathedrals where, shh, you're not allowed to talk, you're not allowed to move. But I pray the Holy Spirit speaks to us, directs us, just like this year. At the beginning of the year, I felt for our church around the globe that there were going to be wind shifts. The Bible talks about winds from the different poles, from the east, from the west, from the north to the south, and believed there was going to be a wind shift. Well, there's been a wind shift so seismic in size that I could never ever have imagined that by the fact that the whole world has almost been brought to its knees by this pandemic that at this point shows no sign of an ending. It's a big wind shift. But you know what? If we stay sensitive to the Holy Spirit, if we stay intentional when it comes to the work of the Holy Spirit, then I believe that even our church, whether it's our churches as a body, living out the message of Jesus, or as a soul, keeping right conversation, keeping the right heart, keeping the right tone, or whether it's our spirit, that we're people who genuinely love Jesus and genuinely love God. Way back in 2014, you know, I wrote uh, what I call the church that I now see. If you know the story 20 years ago, before that rather, 20 years before 2014, uh, I wrote the church that I see. And it was like a visionary statement about what I believe our church could look like. And 20 years on, because we'd seen so much of that come to pass, I began to think about the church that I now see. And it affects you in France as much as it affects us in Australia. Or right now I'm in Hillsong, California, believe it or not. Well, all over the world, the church that I see, listen to it, this is what it says. I see a church whose leadership is unified in their commitment to the authenticity, credibility and quality of its heart. In other words, as leaders in the church, we're committed to caring about the heart of our church. And I pray for you as a person who's just, you believe this is your home, your church home, or even if you're just visiting today, that we will care for the authenticity, the credibility and the quality of the heart of our church. And it goes on and says, leaders who dare to be themselves, yet live secure in the knowledge that what they are part of is bigger than the part they play. Yes, 
It also goes on, says, I see a church that loves God, that loves people and loves life. Youthful in spirit, generous at heart, faith-filled in confession, loving in nature and inclusive in expression. I just want to take the next few moments talking about those things, those qualities, which if we all take responsibility for them personally, then we're going to see it outworked collectively. Because I know what God wants to do in France, what God wants to do in your part of the world. I know that perhaps I'm speaking in Geneva as well, but it's hard to say France and Geneva every single time, right? Just like in Australia, part of our Australian congregation, we have a campus in Bali in Indonesia. So it's kind of hard every single time to say, and Bali, but you know, our heart's with you there in Geneva. Well, generous at heart. You know what that looks like? We always want others to win. I don't just want to be a church that cares about ourselves. I see a church that champions the cause of local churches everywhere. That's what we call our Hillsong Conference as its mission. We want to champion the cause of local churches everywhere. That's generosity at heart. It's seen beyond ourselves. If we all live that way, as we outlive our faith in Jesus Christ, we're generous at heart. We're not wanting other people to lose. We're not trying to hold anyone else back. No, we're encouraging them to be all that God has called them to be. I think when you're generous at heart, you constantly choose the high road. It's not always easy. Sometimes people speak badly about you, maybe. Maybe even sometimes trolls you on social media. I'm sure that never happens in French. (laughs) Hey, or or maybe some other thing. It's so easy to take the low road. But if we want to be all that God's called us to be, we decide we're going to keep taking that high road in Jesus' name. That's generous at heart. You live free-handed or open-handed. You're generous. Generosity. It's a way of seeing. It's a way of thinking. And it's a way of living. If you live generous, you see opportunities to be generous everywhere you look. It's a way of thinking. You tend to think well of other people. You tend to become a big thinker. And it's a way of living. So praise God. Let's be committed to a church that is generous at heart. Yes, if we have a generous soul and a generous spirit, then we're generous hearted. And when a church adopts that stance, which I believe for Hillsong Church, you get incredible unity. And it's where there's unity that God commands blessing. It's where there's unity that there's going to be momentum and there'll be a story to tell and people will respond to Jesus because unity is like a magnet. It's attractive and generosity of heart. It brings that kind of unity. We're all in this together. Let's remember that. Let's decide I'm going to be part of the answer, that I'm going to be committed to living my life, moving forward, serving Jesus, generous at heart. And again, in the church that I now see, describing our church, I believe for a church that's generous at heart and second, youthful in spirit. Youthful in spirit. I want to stay youthful in spirit. Yes, I do. You see, we refuse to grow weary on the inside. You guys are 15 years old. On August the 14th, it's 37 years since Bobby and I first planted Hillsong Church. 37 years ago, I was 29. Bobby was 26. We were young. Well, now we're still not old, old, but the truth is 37 years on, I pray we can stay youthful in spirit that we won't grow weary. That's what the Bible says. Do not grow weary in doing good. I pray in this season, we won't grow weary of church online. You see, sometimes we have to commit to we're going to be part of a commitment to keeping our church youthful in spirit. And that's personal responsibility as well. That's our individual responsibility to keep a free spirit, uncynical, unjaded, uncomplicated, unfettered, that to me is going to keep us youthful in spirit. For me personally, I'm 66. The key to a youthful spirit is to listen to younger people, be with younger people, intentionally include younger people. I pray that we'll always be reaching younger generations. We want to reach people from every walk of life, every demographic, every age, every background. Yes, we do. But 
I'm committed to staying youthful in spirit. And yes, we're 15 years old in France, but we're just getting going. It's 15 years since we started there in that tiny little theatre in Paris. But the truth is that we've got a great big future. So we're not going to grow old in our mindset, in our mentality. No, we're not. It's critical that we stay a church filled with faith and vision. That keeps you young, being future focused. I want to encourage you, even when the devil is trying to rob us of vision, is trying to rob us of hope for the future, I pray we'll stay future focused. I mean, I don't want to get all sentimental and nostalgic and be living in the past. Remember when, remember when. I'll always praise God for all the wonderful things He has done. I mean, as the Bible says, hadn't the Lord been kind to us? But I don't want to ever settle into being a church that living in what has happened, winding down. No, we're never going to be that church. You are a part of a church that's visionary. We're future focused. Pastor Brandon and Cammie, they're full of vision for the future. Yes, they are. And I'm excited about that. We're a church that refuses to be content with the triumphs of the past. I'm quoting again from a dream I had in 2013, 2014, six years ago. A church that refuses to be content with the triumphs of the past, but is constantly looking towards the future. Filled with a vision that inspires and influences many. Let's stay youthful in spirit. And third, I believe and I dream for our church to be faith-filled in confession. Faith-filled in a world of hopelessness. We choose to bring hope in a world where perhaps people feel absolutely helpless. Let's be a church that knows where our hope and our help is in Jesus. And let's always speak words of life. I want to speak words of life into the situation. I want to speak words of life to people every weekend during this pandemic. I want to speak words of life even when people are facing financial ruin and economic darkness and, un and, and, and very challenging times. You see, we want to bring hope. Some people will always say about the church, oh, you bring false hope. No, no. In a world of no hope, we bring some hope. And this is the, the Word of God. And it's full of hope. And I pray we'll always be people who represent this Word of hope. Faith filled in confession. The church I see and the church I now see are vision statements and they're faith filled. I don't know whether you've ever seen these whole statements, but you can find them on the website. I'm sure they're even available in French. <laughs> One was written in 1993, like I said. The other in 2013. I keep saying 2014, but 2013. But listen to it. It's talking about our church, the church that you are a part of, the church that you can make such a difference in. And it says, positioned in the heart of culture. Man, I don't know whether that could be any more true than it is in great, great cities like Paris and other great French cities there. In great diverse urban centres, I see buildings that struggle to contain the increase of all that God is doing. Occupying lands and places that are miraculous in provision and impossible to ignore. I see a church graced with layers of once in a generation type leaders who are naturally gifted, spiritually potent and genuinely humble. Let's believe those leaders are being raised up in Europe. Yes, in your part of the world. Leaders who will pay the price and count the cost of impacting cities and nations with great God glorifying churches. Faith filled in confession. I speak life into us in the days to come as we move forward from 15 wonderful years. I speak life into finding buildings in France, in Geneva, where we struggle to contain the increase of all that God is doing. I pray that we'll raise up in your part of the world, in Hillsong, France, leaders who are once in a generation leaders who consult the French speaking world with the power of God, with the power of gospel. I wanna to continue to speak life into that. I wanna to continue to stay faith 
filled in confession. Amen. And number four, I see a church that's loving in nature. Loving in nature. Sadly, there's a lot of unloving Christians out there. Unfortunately, social media and its ugly underbelly often exposes that ugliness. People locate themselves. Let's never be those people. Let's stay loving in nature. Let it be seen in what we do to help the hurting and help the needy and help the poor. Let it be seen in our attitude towards community and wanting to live our lives outwardly, not just introspectively, not just in ourselves, but loving God, loving people, loving life. You see, the church that I see is committed to bringing the love and hope of Christ to impossible situations through the preaching of the gospel and a mandate that drives us to do all we can to bring help and solution to a needy world. We know that all over the world, including in your part of the world, not only have we been facing a pandemic, but all of a sudden people have become more and more aware of racial issues and racial inequity and the need for inclusion, the need for diversity. And when I think about being loving in nature, let's believe that that should come naturally to us. The answer is so simple yet so vexing. You see, if we become more like Jesus, then I think it'll become easier and easier for us to love each other, to accept each other, to love each other, and to want to walk in each other's steps. If effectively we're living like we're the hands and feet of Jesus, then we're going to live our lives in a way where we're loving to one another. And of course, the Bible says there's faith, hope and love, but the greatest of these is love. As our church moves forward from 15 years, let's stay committed to being a genuinely loving community. I mean, we live in a world right now where the idea of a cancel culture has become trendy. Well, I'm not going to talk about politics. That's not what I'm talking about. But I will say this. Jesus never cancelled anybody. I'm glad He didn't cancel me. I'm glad He hasn't cancelled you. I thank God the message of the gospel is forgiveness. It's restoration. It's grace. And so let's decide we're going to stay loving in nature. And number five, I believe for a church, I dream for a church that's inclusive in expression. Inclusive. It means we keep our arms wide open, like I said. Inclusive in expression. Listen to what it says. I see a church that is big enough to dream on a global scale, yet personal enough for every one to find their place. I see a church that beckons welcome home to every man, woman and child, that walks through the doors. Welcome home. Have you ever walked into Hillsong in Paris or in South Paris or in France? What's it called? Messy, is it? Uh, and, and, or in Lyon or wherever you guys are and seen that welcome home sign when we do have buildings. Praise God. One of the first things we'll put there into the foyer or the lobby of the building will be a welcome home sign. Such a powerful message. Why? because it's inclusive in nature. You know, there are some churches that, well, even doctrinally, they say they are exclusive. They, they, they're exclusive. They, they don't want to associate with the world or worldliness. I pray we'll always be inclusive. Yes. Why? Because we believe for a church that beckons welcome home to every man, woman and child that walks through the doors. Welcome home is an invite. It is. Imagine if we don't live our own lives like that. Welcome home. It's a heart. That's what I believe is the heart of our church. That's what I believe would reflect the heart of your pastors, of Brendan and, and Cammie. That's what I see in them. They're always so inclusive. And it's a powerful, powerful thing. I love hearing all the little stories. You know, stories of people in church and then their connection and meeting with people who maybe don't know Jesus. And sometimes when they first meet you, maybe the walls are up and people are not sure. But then as we just love people and we're inclusive and we have 
connect them. We invite people into our world and perhaps we invite them to come home and you know, we eat and drink together and we just live our lives in an inclusive way. That's magnetic. Uh, do we want to live our lives so we are compelling? The Bible says the love of Christ compels us. You know what it means? Literally, one translation says the love of Christ leaves us no choice. We can live our lives reflecting Jesus, reflecting who Jesus is and live in such a way that we are compelling, not repelling. It draws people in. Thank God that's the church that we can be. I pray that we'll always be a church where God will bless our going in and He'll bless our coming out. I pray that we'll realise that Jesus is a door and that we will be people who enable people to walk through that door through Jesus Christ and uh, find the love, find the grace, find the goodness of God. 15 phenomenal years. So many stories to tell. Some challenges along the way. The early days where, well, church was very humble there in Paris. Yes, where it was in a, in a hall. I never ever did go to that hall, but from my understanding, it was outside of the centre of Paris. And well, it was a lot harder then. And even now we have challenges when it comes to fitting everyone into the buildings. But it's in our vision statement. It's in our mission statement. The buildings will struggle to contain the increase of all that God is doing. Well, the church I see is a global church. It's a global family. It's one house with many rooms. It's outworking a unified vision. It's a church that's apostolic in calling and visionary in nature, committed to boldly impacting millions for Christ in significant cities and nations throughout the earth. Significant cities and nations throughout the earth with the greatest of all causes, the cause of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's exactly what Hillsong France has been doing and will continue to do. And we are going to see God's faithfulness take us forward. I pray you'll always be a part of this journey. I speak life into you, life into your future. Let's all stay generous at heart, faith-filled in confession, loving in nature, yes, Generous at heart, youthful in spirit, faith-filled in confession, loving in nature and inclusive in expression. God has got so much more for our church in France. God has got so much more for our church in Geneva. Who knows what's ahead of us? All I know is I'm filled with faith for it and I'm filled with faith for you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Have a happy, happy anniversary, a happy 15th anniversary and let's never forget it the best is yet to come let me pray for you so father i'm so grateful for all that you've done to this point as i already said i'm grateful for our pastors i'm grateful for our leaders in hillsong france lord we're so blessed by all that you have done for the opportunities you've given us lord i believe in your name that you can open doors that have yet not been open, that we will see opportunity for the church to expand. Lord, buildings, Father, opportunities, possibilities. Lord, there is so much ahead. I pray that we'll all be part of the answer, that we'll all decide that we have a faithful confession and commitment about Christ. And Lord, in all of that, I pray that we will do our part in seeing the church become the healthy organism, the healthy body, you've called us to be. And I thank you for it in your precious name. Lord, bless our church, body, soul, and spirit, I pray. Amen. Amen. You be blessed. Well, what an incredible message from Pastor Brian. Thank you so much for that word. Ah, I love it that you've spoken into the 15 years today. And what an incredible faith-stirring message. Thank you so much. We love you. We're so thankful. And uh, we can't wait for you to be here physically next time. And uh, But so thankful for today and uh, and what you've just spoken into, into the church. So come on, church. Why don't we give him a hand and why don't we thank Pastor Brian today? 
And uh, so excited. The Thank best you. is yet to come. So, uh, so excited. Well, if you did make a decision in that service, if you've responded, you want to know Jesus, then why don't you get in contact with us? Why don't you let us know? We'd love to help you on this journey. And, uh, and uh, yeah, there's things in the life of church we've got specially for you to help you come to know more about Jesus. So if you did make that decision, well done. Congratulations. And we're excited about all that Jesus wants to do in your life. What's a birthday without a birthday cake? So we've got a special cake for today. 15 years. Whoa! Amazing. Wow. This is amazing. Look at this. Souffle les bougies. Souffle les bougies. Happy birthday. Who wants a bit of cake? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Oh la la. Oh la la. Attendez, attendez. Uh, On doit interrompre ce moment. Hey, hey. Et ça, c'est pour vous, Brendan et Camille. <laughs> pour Camille. <laughs> On voulait prendre le temps pour pouvoir vous honorer. Merci pour tout ce que vous avez fait pendant ces dernières années. Ouais, euh, si ce n'était pas vous, certainement qu'on ne serait pas là. Bien sûr, il y a Jésus, mais euh, merci parce que dans chacune des saisons, vous avez été présent. Et ce qu'on aime, qu aime énormément en tant qu'Église, c'est que vous prophétisez toujours, vous avez de la vision et euh, vous apportez toujours de la proclamation dans la vie de chacun d'entre nous. Donc merci pour ces 15 dernières années. Ouais. Merci pour les prochaines 15 années qui yeah, vont arriver. Ça, ça va être extraordinaire. On va avoir des bons moments, super. des moments rigolos, des plus gros gâteaux, n'est-ce pas yeah. ouais. Donc merci pour tout ce que vous faites et on aime faire la vie avec vous. Ouais. Merci. Ouais, merci. Bisous. Kiss merci air. Pour <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hey, thanks to everyone yeah. watching today. Thanks for being part of this journey, and uh, thanks, honey. <laughs> Things everywhere in my hair. Okay, but uh, you know we want to thank you, and I would love, man, we would love to give you a bit of cake. So oh, yeah. maybe we, hopefully, we can find a time to do something like that when we physically gather again. And we're looking forward to that. We're excited about the future more than yeah. anything. Thank you for the flowers, and um, you know, thank you to Jesus. You know, I love that. You know, we've, uh, I love that Jesus on there. And we've got, you know, I know that some of the names or many names of people behind that, that actually are part of the church, making the church. And, you know, you'll find your name on there. And, um, you know, we're just so thankful for you, excited about the future, excited for all God wants to do in the French speaking world. Believe the best is yet to come. Believe God is going to move powerfully. He's moving powerfully. Believe the best days are ahead for the church and best days are ahead for you, your family. Believe you're going to make an impact in every sphere of life. We want to encourage you. We want to encourage you to be full of faith and that, and that God is going to do incredible things through you, your family, and what God's placed in your hand. Believe that, yeah, best is yet to Amen. come. So, um, kind of, I want to, can, I'm going to, as we end the service, we always pray for you in your sphere of life. And thanks for connecting today and uh, just excited about the future. So, Father, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, you're the Alpha and the Omega, Lord God, and you're everything in between as well. And Lord God, today we thank you for, Lord God, you've placed people in every sphere of life where you've placed them, Lord God. I pray you'd use them, you'd go before them this week, Lord God. Lord God, I pray you'd speak to them, you'd stir them, you'd give them vision, Lord God. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that, Lord God, you would, Lord God, we would give you glory and praise. May your grace and your face shine upon them, Lord God. We lift high the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, what an incredible service. It's been so great to have you with us. And the team has prepared a beautiful song. I know you're going to love it. It's a song called A New Thing. And I know you're going to be blessed. Come on, why don't we watch this? But have a fantastic week, church. We love you. Be blessed. Tu fais une chose nouvelle Tu fais une 
choses nouvelles Tu vois venir la vague d'un réveil Emprunt de justice et de louange Jeunes et vieux courageux
Pastor Brendan and Camille and my Hillsong France family. Happy 15th birthday. Can you believe we're 15? You will always have the most special place in my heart. I was there at the very first meeting when we birthed the church and here we are 15 years later. Our greatest days are still ahead of us. I love you with a passion and you all still know Paris is my favorite city in the world. I love you. Happy birthday. Salut Song France, ici Pasteur David Potier de La Chapelle pour vous souhaiter un joyeux 15e anniversaire. Pasteur Brendan Camming, bravo! L'œuvre que vous faites est exceptionnelle. Dieu vous a donné des dons extraordinaires et un cœur pour les gens que j'ai rarement vu. On est fiers de vous. Continuez à avoir de l'impact en francophonie. Bonjour de Dijon, Sylvie Hassen. 15 ans déjà, on vous souhaite un bel et joyeux anniversaire, chers amis. Et puis on voudrait vous dire un grand merci pour le grand exemple que vous êtes pour la France. Tous les chants que vous nous avez donnés, que vous nous donnez encore, votre grande générosité et votre sens de l'accueil. Merci pour toutes ces personnes qui, grâce à vous, ont entendu l'Évangile, se sont tournées vers Dieu et passeront leur éternité avec Dieu. Au revoir. Au revoir. Hey, Pastor Brennan and Camille, we are just so excited just to speak to you. Congratulations on 15 years of ministry. We are so proud of you guys. We love that we got to meet you even before you got married. You guys are amazing. You are blessing the Parisian people. Thank you. Some of our favorite trips, Lisa's and mine, in 30 years of ministry have been coming to Paris and being with you and Camille. We love you guys both. Bonjour, Il Sang Paris. 15 ans d'anniversaire, c'est magnifique. On vous aime très fort. De La Réunion, l'église extravagance vous souhaite. Happy birthday. We love you. God bless. Brendan and Cammy, Hillsong France, happy birthday. We are so excited for you guys. We love that we get to drop in and say happy 15th birthday. 15 years of God doing incredible things all throughout France. We are so excited. We have loved being with you over the years and we pray God's favour and His blessing on you that He would increase your borders and expand your territory as you continue forward into the future. We love you guys a lot. Yeah, and we're celebrating on this side. We're going to go have a cupcake. Bye. Je veux saisir l'occasion pour souhaiter un bon anniversaire à Église Ilsong France, membre de la Fédération protestante, pour le témoignage qu'elle rend dans la société française. Et ça fait 15 ans déjà, 15 ans de fidélité à l'Évangile de Jésus-Christ. Félicitations. Happy 15 year celebrations, Hillsong France. What an incredible, uh, God glorifying 15 years it has been, but I am absolutely confident that it's just the very beginning. And so from everyone here at Hillsong Melbourne, we love you. I definitely miss you. And I uh, believe that these next 15 years will be even more incredible than what God has already started in you. Chers amis de Hillsong France, quelle joie de vous retrouver pour fêter avec vous eh bien, les 15 années de présence de Hillsong ici, non seulement à Paris, mais dans le pays. Ma joie, eh bien, c'est de savoir que pendant ces 15 années, des hommes et des femmes ont rencontré Christ. Et mon souhait et ma prière pour vous, pour nous, pour l'ensemble du corps de Christ, c'est que vous soyez encore un merveilleux instrument pour le salut d'un grand nombre d'hommes et de femmes. Je me réjouis avec vous, la moisson est grande, il y a peu d'ouvriers, nous sommes heureux de collaborer ensemble. Soyez bénis. Hey, Brendan and Cammy, everyone there at Hillsong France, a massive congratulations on 15 years. We went to get some French champagne to celebrate, but we ended up with uh, Australian Jacobs Creek. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, uh, love you guys. Brendan's, you know, my best friend. Brendan and Cammy are so dear yeah, to us. We, we really wish we could be there with you and yeah. celebrate with you. We're so proud of you guys and what you've done. Um, Brendan and Cammy and the entire church and the leadership team, it's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. And uh, you know, as Pastor Brian always says, the best is yet to come. And we can't wait to see all that is ahead for you in Jesus' name. Hillsong friends, happy 15 year anniversary. What an incredible milestone. It's not really shocking. You have two of the greatest pastors in the world and pastors Brendan and Camille and whom I love so much. I cannot wait to be back soon and see you all. But until then, congratulations. We're rooting you on. Hello, you wonderful people in Hillsong, France. 15 years. We can't believe it's been that long. Happy anniversary and many years of blessing to come. God bless you. Bonjour la famille Ilsong France et la famille Ilsong Francophonie. 
Joyeux anniversaire, joyeux 15e anniversaire. C'est vraiment une joie pour moi de célébrer avec vous ce moment extraordinaire. Félicitations à Pasteur Brandon, Pasteur, Pasteur Camille, toute l'équipe de leadership. Vous faites un travail remarquable depuis 15 ans. Je suis tellement fier de vous et tellement fier également de pouvoir participer d'une certaine façon avec vous à ce moment extraordinaire. Alors je veux vous bénir et je souhaite des années glorieuses. Le meilleur est en avant et j'appelle le ciel ouvert sur vous et encore plus au-delà de tout ce que vous avez vu jusqu'à aujourd'hui. Je vous bénis au nom du Seigneur, je vous aime énormément et merci à chacun d'entre vous pour votre travail remarquable. Soyez bénis. Hi, I'm Steve Penny and I want to congratulate Pastor Brendan and Camille White in Paris, Hillsong, France. 15 years, it's awesome what you've accomplished. I love visiting with you. Some of my best meals I had with Pastor Brennan and Camille. We sit around, we talk, I have creme brulee. But I want to declare this. September is our season of significance and I feel to speak it over you for the next season. A season of significance in Jesus' name. Congratulations, God bless, we love you. Bonjour, bonsoir, Dr. Robbie here. Bon anniversaire! 15 amazing years, congratulations! Hey, what do you get when you take a handsome Aussie bloke and you marry him to a bonza, stunning Parisian Sheila? Well, of course, you get the White family. But in the same way, what do you get when you drop an Aussie church smack bang in the middle of Paris? Well, of course, you get the Hillsong family. And now, 15 years later, you got little Hillsong babies popping up all over France. Bon anniversaire! Congratulations! That right there is definitely worth celebrating. Wishing you all of the best on your special day. Congratulations! May God bless you. Hi, Hillsong France. You're celebrating 15 years today. You know, just over 15 years ago, Pastor Brennan and I, we were walking at the Eiffel Tower, praying for the city of Paris and for the people of France. And to see now what God has done 15 years later with you and through you is truly unbelievable. Yeah, congratulations, we love you and we can't wait to, I mean, come to Paris soon again when this crazy time is over. And we love you and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Joyeux anniversaire 15 ans les amis, quelle joie, quel privilège de travailler côte à côte ensemble pour notre Seigneur. Vous êtes pour moi l'exemple de l'excellence et je suis trop fière de tout ce que vous faites. Fêtez, célébrez et on est avec vous de tout cœur. C'est magnifique, merci parce que vous avez été pionnier, pionnier aussi dans ce pays. Vous êtes venu avec quelque chose de frais, de pétillant yes. et pour ça vous êtes vraiment extraordinaire. On vous aime fort et on souhaite encore de nombreuses années et de, de, de moissons, de mmh. salut, d'âmes sauvées. Et on sauvée. sait que ça c'est sur votre cœur aussi. On vous aime fort de Lyon, on, on vous, vous aime. embrasse. Ciao. ciao, ciao. Hey Hillsong France, wow, are we excited for you today. John and Helen here from Vancouver, Canada, and we are so excited at 15 years. We were there before Hillsong was officially a church. It was still a connect group. There wasn't a marriage of Camille and Brendan or three children, but now there is, and the story continues to be stunning. Never miss an opportunity to celebrate what God has yeah. done because it just fuels you for more. And God has got so much more for you. We absolutely adore you. We, do. We love you. Congratulations. Félicitations pour ces 15 années de bénédiction. Merci pour vos encouragements. Merci oui. pour votre générosité. Merci pour votre joie et pour la valeur que vous mettez sur chacun. Oui. Et aussi merci pour votre amitié. Je me rappelle d'une parole de Pasteur Brendan qui disait « Raymond va changer la France ». Et avec vous, Dieu est en train de la changer. Alors, merci et bon anniversaire. Bon anniversaire, on vous aime. Bonjour, nous sommes Salvatore et Manon Piazza, pasteur à l'église du Bon Impact de Liège en Belgique et nous voulions vous souhaiter un merveilleux 15e anniversaire à toute la famille Hussain de France, à Pasteur Brendan et Camille et à toute l'équipe incroyable. On veut vous remercier pour l'église merveilleuse que vous êtes, vous nous bénissez, vous nous motivez, vous nous inspirez. Merci pour votre influence dans le monde chrétien francophone, on vous aime tellement. Joyeux anniversaire, ils sont de France, on vous bénit, on est reconnaissant pour vous. Et vous savez, je pensais à vos pasteurs et à votre église, et je me disais, que se serait-il passé s'il y a 15 ans, ils sont de France, n'avaient pas vu le jour. Combien de milliers de gens n'auraient jamais rencontré Jésus 
Combien n'auraient pas trouvé l'amour, le réconfort d'une famille Combien de personnes suicidaires, dépressives, anxieuses, dépendantes n'auraient pas trouvé la vie Quand on y pense, c'est incroyable, ce n'est pas quelque chose de banal, ce n'est pas normal, mais aussi incroyable que ces 15 années ont été, je crois pouvoir dire prophétiquement que vous allez voir dans les prochaines années des choses que vous n'avez jamais vues durant toutes ces années, ces 15 ans, tout ensemble. Alors, célébrez ce 15e anniversaire. Félicitations, nous vous bénissons. On vous aime, que Dieu vous bénisse. Joyeux anniversaire Bonjour Hilson, bonjour Pasteur Brandon. Félicitations pour 15 ans d'inspiration et d'exemple en France. On vous fait d'énormes bisous de la part de l'Église. EPP, on est tellement heureux de pouvoir célébrer ces 15 années avec vous. Joyeux, Joyeux anniversaire. anniversaire Salut tout le monde, c'est Dan, j'espère que vous allez bien. Je fais cette petite vidéo simplement pour déclarer quelque chose. Joyeux anniversaire Joyeux anniversaire Joyeux anniversaire Ils sont Paris Joyeux anniversaire Joyeux anniversaire à toute l'église, on est tellement honoré de vous connaître, tellement honoré d'être impacté et inspiré par vous, par une église si merveilleuse. Ils sont mondiales bien sûr, mais ils sont Paris, des amis extraordinaires, pasteur Brendan, Camille, Jonathan et, euh, et, et, et toute l'équipe pastorale, toute l'équipe créative. On est tellement euh, inspiré par euh, ce que vous faites. Vous êtes une église vraiment qui... Euh, qui est une, une église sœur et nous ici à l'église Momentum, on est tellement heureux et bénis de vous connaître. On veut vous souhaiter le meilleur, encore des 25 ans euh, extraordinaires dans la présence de Dieu et on veut vraiment euh, être avec vous, vous soutenir dans la prière, vous soutenir euh, avec, euh, avec euh, toutes les marques d'affection et on voulait vraiment marquer euh, le coup et, 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 et vous souhaiter un joyeux anniversaire. On vous embrasse, que Dieu vous bénisse les amis. A bientôt, ciao Bonjour Hillsong family, it's Terry Savelle Foy and my dog, Pepe La Joie, <laughs> he speaks French. <laughs> I just want to congratulate you on 15 years and let you know you have family here in Dallas, Texas who love you, who believe in you, and we celebrate you. He might be falling asleep, but I'm excited. <laughs> Go have some cake or macaroons. Congratulations, we love you. Happy birthday Hillsong Paris, 15 years, that's incredible. Big congratulations to you all. Pastor Brendan and Cammie, love you guys dearly. Listen, you guys have done an incredible thing in the nation of France, in the city of Paris, but I really believe your best days are just ahead. Celebrating with you, God bless. Hey, just want to say congratulations, 15 years, and uh, well done to all the team that have been a part of this amazing journey. Hillsong Church, it's just, it's Hillsong Church France now. Started out as Hillsong Church Paris. Well done to Brendan and Camille. Really proud of you guys, proud of everything that you've done. And it's been just a, a real, you know, it's been an honor to be a part of the journey in the very early days of the, of the church and really looking forward to see what the future holds and what God does. With, uh, with you guys there now. So, once again, congratulations. Thank you, awesome. Coucou, c'est Carole. Joyeux anniversaire. C'est Franck, les Castins, pasteur. Nous sommes pasteurs à l'église Horizon. Je souhaite euh, un joyeux anniversaire à l'église Isson de Paris, à Brendan et Camille. Et euh, on imagine que ça a été un long chemin, parfois les cailloux à enlever sur la terre qui blessent un petit peu les mains. Mais on vous souhaite le meilleur et plein de bénédictions pour la suite. Joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire. Ils sont de Paris. Bye bye. Bon anniversaire, ils sont de France. Here we go. That didn't work. Hey. Happy birthday, Brandon and Cammy, Hillsong France. You guys are awesome. We love you so much. Thanks for your commitment. And we really believe that the best 15 years are still ahead of you. So we're celebrating with you. We love you. Brandon, Cammy, your family, your church, you're awesome. Greetings from Germany, Austria and Switzerland. We love you. Happy birthday. Salut à toute l'église de Hillsong, je vous souhaite un joyeux anniversaire pour vos 15 ans. C'est juste incroyable ce que Dieu a fait avec vous. Vous êtes pour nous tellement inspirant. Alors toute l'église Momentum se joint à moi pour vous souhaiter un joyeux anniversaire. 